Hi everyone, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the translucent brush pack for Particle Shop in Photoshop. In this pack we have 15 brushes all listed here. In the Essentials version I list them off but here they're all named that you can, and you can read them throughout the video. I'm just going to go ahead and go from the top to the bottom and just show you kind of what each brush does and its intention as you use it. So I'm going to start with the beam brush and this brush goes from from down to up and it creates a, hue, a color hue explosion that you can kind of use at different surfaces to express that it's there or an effect and as you can see here if I change the brush size it actually affects the length of the beam and we're gonna go to displace here and displace we've got some cool kind of pixel pushing effects that kind of add a glass-like effect to your picture that kind of comes out of nowhere there for you. You can kind of create some pretty cool effects here and in, in Particle Shop you can take your eraser and let's say I wanted that behind the hand, let's turn my opacity up on my eraser hard there. I could kind of create some cool effects by using that at, with the eraser and that's kind of when this eraser is going to come in best in any scenario in the software. So let's move on to Droplet here. This one's pretty fun. This one helps you to add some moisture effects to your image. I can rub this over certain images of a surface um, or maybe even something I'm trying to add a surface to and create and I'm going to color pick and blend in and create again a, a wet like effect. There we go, maybe I'll add some whites in there. Change the brush size a little bit for those highlights. So that one is kind of a little bit of a painterly brush, but it's pretty fun. Let's go ahead and move on to fog. Fog is something you can, let's go ahead, in the key image I actually just wisp it across this. We've got this translucent fog that's coming through that's kind of like that you don't really see a lot of bright fog very often so I thought this would be a cool brush to add that effect I kinda wanted you to be able to change the color on your own I know a lot of these brushes are rainbow based there we go that's kinda fun anyways this is kinda that again that bright fog that you never really see it kind of a scramble of some sh sh almost shredded light there so let's move on to glass here this one's pretty fun because you can create some some breaks in the glass. If you have a window or something, it's a little more realistic to crack than this glass ball here. This has got a hue effect, and we can cut up any area of the glass that we like. So you're really good at glass breaking and what that looks like. Maybe looking from reference, I bet you could get pretty good with this brush at making some pretty realistic breaks in the glass there. I don't know if I'm very good at it, but it's a pretty fun brush to uh, try with. So let's have a try at this moisture brush. This moisture brush has a color hue variation. So although you could probably do it with just white, if you do it with some saturation in there, you're going to get a little bit more of a creative look. And this is just going to add some wet like speckles that add kind of a wet effect. You kind of need color and white I suppose to make that more realistic there. So now, now let's look at the oil brush. The oil brush, I'm going to go ahead and reset this here. I've got a lot going on. There we go. Perfect. The oil brush um, this is like the, the rainbow that you see at the edge of like a little puddle of oil in the parking lot. You can you can take this to a brighter saturation and I'm gonna slowly with a small brush yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do the smallest I can with a small brush because it likes to fan out change the color of some of this and you can kind of change what hue you want it and it'll kind of veer towards that direction it doesn't go all the way rainbow on you there we go Let's look at this, and again, we can use our eraser for some of this. There we go. And I've changed a lot of the color just right there, uh, and it looks pretty natural. I would, if this were my 
photo, I would take this and I would definitely use the eraser with this brush because again, it likes to fan out. It doesn't concentrate so that it can change those uh, color hues in a more natural way. But once I back out, that it creates a pretty cool effect there and you can get as detailed with this as you want or I can kind of fade out of certain parts if I wanted, if I didn't want as much color there. You can kind of go back and forth with it. Uh, the prism brush kind of does um, the opposite. It's not so soft and it's very somewhat concentrated depending on the brush size you make. This brush kind of takes a little color prism and you can make little hard shape splashes with this to kind of break out of the surface. And the brighter you area you're in, probably the brighter you're going to want to go for the sake of realism. All right, so let's look at Raindrop. This is a fun brush for the background or the foreground, whatever you've got going on. You can simply chain or choose a, a value and hue. So I'm going to go somewhere here towards my picture, and I'm, this is on Glow, and I can make fun, quick raindrops with this. Whoops, raindrops don't go that diagonal. Well, maybe sometimes, but not right now. And you can change this if you really add some hue you can see there's a lot of hue variation in there that if you've got the right picture that can go pretty well in there we go just some fun raindrops and again you can make them as big or as little as you want I'm going to try to match some of these up there we go so let's go ahead and reset this again there we go and reflections intention is interesting so you're going to pick the color, and let's say you've got a surface down here, and you're trying to express reflection, or you're trying to create a surface. This will help you to grab that and just to add some of that shadow reflection so that you can add the rest of these brushes around it and create. So in fact, let's just go on to Shimmer. If we were to go to Shimmer with this, Shimmer is meant to poke around quite a few times on a high saturation. You kind of have to play around with the brush size a little bit. Do a little bigger. Oh, I just got to hold it there a little longer. There we go. And so these two would kind of go hand in hand. Let's zoom in here. I know we're at 100%, but let's go 200% so we can see what's going on. So this kind of helps you to create a shimmer just by poking it in a lot of the same area, but going hand in hand with the reflection brush, you see how that created a shadow that kind of starts to create the effect of a reflection. Now if we were to go back, I'm going to reset this image again. If we were to go back, you're going to see the backwards effect, the difference. There we go. I've got shiny here. This one is pretty fun. We're going to select over here and we're going to we're going to rub this in and create an effect like this glass ball is a lot more shiny. Sometimes when you have like a picture and there's a, a highlight that's not quite as bright of a highlight, this is a good tool to take that and change that. I'm going to go more white here. There we go. So this, especially if I go back to 100% and you see the top, you can see how this almost looks like the top light is affecting the bottom light even more now. And the more I do that, the more that this is going to get shinier and shinier. But it's also at a low transparency, so it doesn't really overtake too much. You have to really work it in. So let's go to spin here. So the spin brush you're going to want to keep on a really small size. Um, and what you're, what you're going to want to do is you want to take this and you can use it to blend things. And especially some of the uh, added effects, this really cuts through in particle shop and creates, there we go, now there's a lot going on there. 
but you can kind of see how that's kind of a translucent blender and you can take this to your surface and kind of create more of a wet effect depending on what you've got going on there. So and in the surface brush, this one you're going to have to pick a, a saturation and I'm going to just go over this. Oh, you know what? Maybe I want to make that brighter since this top part is bright. And this helps me to add a surface. Now, this is going to come down really hard like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take an eraser and you're just going to soften that up. And it's going to take a little bit of a photo retouching skill there. There we go. And that's definitely, definitely expressing a really cool surface there. I, I really like that. Um, so you're going to, you know, just take it to whatever surface that you're using and then again, back it out and blend it in. And the last one is pretty fun. This one, if you have a surface that you can't quite see, um, but it's supposed to be there like a window, maybe you took a picture and uh, you just can't tell that window's there, you can kind of take this and scratch some soft surface into it and we'll make that bright so you can see it better. But you can see how this adds little flex to show that the surface is there. Um, so that's the translucent brush pack for Particle Shop. Uh, you can definitely probably see the, the intention of this brush pack. Uh, if you have a lot of <clears throat> mystical things in your work uh, or things with a surface to it, glass, um, this is definitely a good brush pack to be expressing that with. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.